you guys, Erin here at Eat Move Rest and welcome back, or if it's your first time, then welcome to our channel. We are in the kitchen today because we are going to be bringing to you a delicious and nutritious smoothie bowl. So this is a fantastic dairy-free alternative to ice cream. We tend to call it nice cream because it's nice to your body <laughs> and it tastes amazing as well. It's springtime, it'll be summer before we know it. Dusty and I just got back from Costa Rica and we are feeling the tropical vibes. So we're going to be bringing you a bubblegum pink smoothie bowl. Let's jump right into the ingredients. Keep in mind this is going to be two servings, so either enjoy it with a friend, cut the recipe in half, or save half in the freezer for another day. You will need four ripe speckled frozen bananas, about one cup of frozen raspberries, about one cup of frozen strawberries, this is one of the key players here. This is frozen jackfruit. You'll need about seven pods. We found ours at Whole Foods. And this is what's going to give your smoothie bowl its juicy fruit bubblegum flavor. If you've never tried jackfruit before, you are in for a treat because it actually, some say, is where juicy fruit bubblegum got its flavor from. So if you cannot find jackfruit in your grocery store, an alternative would be frozen mango, although you won't get quite the same taste, it's still going to be incredibly delicious. And the final ingredient you will need is one frozen dragon fruit pack. So this is another ingredient that is going to really make this smoothie what it is. It's going to give it its vibrant, hot pink hue. If you can't find frozen pitaya, also known as dragon fruit, you can also use dragon fruit powder, or a lot easier option would be to use just a small chunk of raw beet or beet powder. That will give you that same bright pink hue. Last but not least, you will need one scoop of Sun Warrior Vanilla Warrior Blend Protein or your plant protein of choice. You guys know this is our plant protein of choice and you may also know that we recently teamed up with them, so we've got a discount code It'll be linked below if you guys are interested in trying this for yourselves. It's amazing. We've got our high speed blender and we're going to start by placing our bananas in first. Keep in mind if you don't have an extremely high speed powerful blender, you might want to let your frozen ingredients thaw for about 15 to 20 minutes. Raspberries, strawberries, jackfruit or mango if you don't have jackfruit, pitaya or if you don't have pitaya, use one of the alternatives that I mentioned. There are several reasons why we prefer this Sun Warrior protein. Number one, the taste is amazing when it's put into a fruit smoothie. Number two, it's USDA certified organic, it's gluten free, grain free, and bonus, it is raw. So this hasn't been exposed to heat which can tend to denature proteins and other important enzymes and nutrients, so they're all intact. This is going to be an incredible source of fuel for your day. Last but not least, add liquid. You can use almond milk, coconut water. I use just plain old water and add it according to how frozen your fruit is. I'm just gonna add a little bit because I like a really thick smoothie bowl. This is passion fruit. It is like the most exotic and delicious flavor ever. Now it's time for my favorite part. We're going to top our smoothie bowl with all kinds of delicious and beautiful fruit. Don't know what I'm doing, but it's beautiful. It is time for Max to eat. It's time for me to dig in. So let's check out the final finished pink bubblegum bowl result. <laughs> We've topped it with some kiwis and berries and it's looking mighty delicious, if I do say so myself. You guys ready for the final taste test? Let's give it a go. Soon enough, Max, soon enough. Mmm, <laughs> so good. Bubblicious and nutritious. So if you guys are into these smoothie bowl recipes, if you want to see more vegan plant powered recipes, give this video a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already joined us here at the Eat Move Rest fam. Max would love to see you guys here. And as always, click that bell to make sure you've got your notifications turned on so you'll get alerted when me and Dusty and Max and Bo put out new videos here on this channel. 
As always, leave me some love in the comments below. Let me know what you thought. Maybe tell me how your smoothie turned out and what other types of videos you'd love to see moving forward. As always, share with family and friends and be sure to follow Dusty and I daily on Instagram at Aaron Stanzik, at DB Stanzik. And until next time, what do we tell them, Max? Eat, move, rest, your best. Thank you.